Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton is here. Okay, Tyler, Donald Trump says that his country is looking for a better deal from the World Trade Organization. First of all, what's his beef, and do you think he'll pull the U.S. out of the WTO? Well, that's the question there, because the U.S. president is saying that the country is, quote, looking at doing something about how they're treated by the World Trade Organization. He says that the trade organization, which has been governing the way that we do trade across the globe ever since the Second World War, it's not treating the U.S. very fairly. They want to rewrite some of the rules. The issue here, though, is the president is being rather vague about what this actually means, which is creating even more uncertainty over global trade. He made his comments to reporters just a day after the uh, European Union lashed back at the Trump administration over the potential for European auto tariffs. The issue here is that the EU said that if anything is introduced, they would introduce their own retaliatory measures. This could amount to $294 billion in retaliatory tariffs that it would impose on American products as well. Right now, it's just ramping up global trade uncertainty. And in the latest comments from the United States president, they're not doing anybody any good if they do want some certainty with regards to global trade. Well, Single-handedly dismantling post-war uh, Western alliances. This could be one yeah. more step. Okay, the other uh, thing I want to talk to you about is Amazon is rolling out new exclusive deals at Whole Foods for customers who are also Amazon Prime members. But Canadian Amazon Prime members are excluded from this deal. What's the deal? I know. It's a bit of a mixed bag for Canadians. I do have a little bit of good news, though, because okay. as, they're, the, as they're rolling this out, they're going to be starting with the United States first. It's in a number of cities. So if you, go, if you do go down to, say, Seattle, and you're shopping there, and you have a Prime membership as a Canadian, you're still good to go. You can still get some deals at a Seattle uh, store for Whole Foods, which, of course, Amazon now owns Whole Foods. The, the so even though we're not getting the deals up in Vancouver, Amazon is making uh, promises that they will be rolling out to various cities across the globe in the coming months. But here is the good news that I do have to share, though, that Amazon has just confirmed that its annual Prime Day is coming on July 16th, and Canadians will be privy to some Whole Foods deals in store. If you spend $35 or more on your groceries, you will get a 10% discount. So it's a bit of a mixed bag here, but. Uh, yeah, you can look forward to that on July 16th. And we all know how easy it is to spend $35 at Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, just a, a pile of bananas and that pretty much covers it, right? Good point, Tyler Orton. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh